Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, October 13th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and CKC show. Now, this segment uh, is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high-pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. And they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. And October is National Chiropractic Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment when you mention KC Sports, She KC, or Good Sports KC. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. And this show is being taped at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive, where you can sign up your kids for learn to skate or learn to play hockey classes on their website, kcicecenter.com. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m. at 4.30 p.m. and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue of KC Sports, we continue to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And now in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. This month, we analyze the Chiefs' slow start and what that means to the team for the rest of the season and to the fans. Plus, we get excited about the draft possibilities that the Chiefs might have to pick a franchise quarterback in the next draft if, this, if the season continues to spiral. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, where we are today, we have an article on youth hockey, and we give you an update on the construction of the brand new outdoor NHL size rink, which is scheduled to open at the Casey Ice Center this November. We'll have more information on that in our first segment as we move along here. And at SheKC, we have a story on former Olathe East and KU basketball player Daniel McRae, who is now playing pro basketball in the WNBA. Plus, we show you ways to stay, stay safe and protect yourself this fall. Now, you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King's at both Minsky's on, the, on Berry Road. Mr. Goodsense, the Kansas City Ice Center, again, where we're doing the show today. The Fieldhouse of KC and at Dick's Sporting Goods across the KC Metro. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And our publication, She KC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. Check us out on Facebook by searching She KC or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, as I mentioned, we are out here at the Kansas City Ice Center. There's all sorts of uh, exciting things going on, which we're going to find out what's going on here in just a second. We're joined by Dean Nelson. He is the general manager. Welcome back to the show. It's been a little while since we've been here, Dean. Uh, good to see you. Hey. Good to Thanks see a lot, Steve. There's Thanks. a lot, go lot going on today. What's happening here? Yeah, we have a uh, tournament going on right now in town. It's a youth tournament, uh, so the, all the Bantam teams are playing down here at Kansas City Ice Center this What weekend. age is Bantam? Bantam is like a 13, 14 uh, years old, 15, somewhere in that age range, depending on when you were born or when your birthday falls. Sure. So we have a full tournament. Uh, teams from out of town, teams from St. Louis, 
Uh, we've got a team from Texas in town, Omaha. Wow. Yeah, so they come from far away, and uh, they're all here for the weekend to play in a big tournament uh, that uh, started last night and runs through Sunday afternoon. So uh, pretty exciting for us to be hosting a, a large tournament like this. Well, being a guy who grew up in St. Louis, it's nice to see the blues stuff that some of these people are wearing. Of course, you're wearing a... Show us you're a Minnesota Wild, which is which yeah. is okay. Uh, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Former North Stars fan, I'm sure. But, you yeah. know, going going back a little bit, but former North Stars fan. So you are from Minnesota. Yep. You played hockey growing yep. up. You're actually from Rochester, and we've talked about that yeah. in the past. Yeah. And uh, you know, last time we were here, you had a friend of yours who played in the NHL that yep. joined us on the show. Sean Podine won the Stanley Cup. His name is engraved in there, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Very cool stuff. Um, you. Talking about cool stuff. There's some really cool stuff that's going on on the outside of the rink right now. We've talked about it before, but it's really progressed. It's really progressed a lot. Fill us in on what's happening, when it's going to happen, and where you guys are. Sure, sure, Steve. Thanks. Uh, we have an outdoor rink uh, that's uh, being built right now, and it's a outdoor pavilion style. So it's a full NHL size rink, and it is um, fully covered. So like with the rain we're having today out there we'd still be able to play games and stuff. So sure. it's, just, it's just great right now what's going on outside. So it's, a, it's the only one like it in the area. It's going to be a full outdoor NHL-sized rink uh, with, um, you know, the scoreboard, and we'll have games out there, and we'll have public skates out there. And it will just be awesome for the area to help enhance hockey, to help enhance skating, and uh, anything we can do to, to help the kids these days and the older guys too, you know, to, <laughs> to get more ice. So it's, it's just been awesome for us. Well, we older guys, when I played hockey, I, I wish I was still playing hockey to be able Able to go play a game out there at least until it gets super cold and then it then it's a kid's thing right you know then it becomes the kid's thing but uh it, what's the timetable for having it up and running i noticed and we're going to show some pictures on our tv version of the show uh i was out here a couple of weeks ago we've got an article and i've put some pictures in there but yeah. you had all the tubing down at the time i shot the pictures before and there's a lot of tubing yeah i couldn't believe how much tubing went down but now it's all covered with cement yep that's what they've done uh now they've uh laid the floor for the rink so the cement is in they're waiting for that to cure and that should be uh early next week that we can start driving vehicles on it to, to hang the lights to hang the scoreboard so it needs to be um cured for a certain number of days they'll bring in the rink then around november 5th <laughs> so uh real quick so i'm, I'm uh it, within about two weeks they'll bring in the rink uh, and then they'll, put, they'll place the rink on the uh, cement, of course. And, and then uh, we're looking to open uh, right around the 17th of November, the 18th of November. We want to be open for Thanksgiving. We really think that'd be important for us to have uh, the rink open right around Thanksgiving time. Well, you got to do it on the 17th. We're planning on being out here for yeah, it. Or I guess, I guess we'll do a special Sunday <laughs> show no, if, if it is the 18th. It. But, yeah, you, get, you guys are going to have to get out there and paint it. And, yeah, definitely. And we have to put the ice in. So we need like three nights below 40 degrees to be able to make the ice. Right. And then the ice outside can really be kept uh, under 60 degrees. So we can be out there 55 degrees or, or, or 50, 60 degrees with the ice, with all the piping and stuff. With It, it will still be able to be frozen. So uh, And with the roof over it. Uh, I think it's going to be just awesome. I mean, everyone's real excited in this area. And putting up a rink really doesn't take any time. If you think about the you know places like the Sprint Center and other other places, they'll go from basketball to to ice hockey right. in, in an afternoon. So that's <laughs> that's really not not a difficult aspect of this process. It's really right now. It's just waiting for that cement to cure so that you can do all the other upstairs stuff to get for, it ready. Yeah, for sure. We are also looking at you know once the summer comes and once the ice rink is taken out, you know we'll be um, having a whole new aspect uh, with roller hockey. So right. we're hoping to do some roller hockey on it in the summer, which will be great for that a whole organization. Will you put a floor on it of you, some kind, you know, or are you going to go year, with cement? The first year we're going to go with cement. Right. You know, we're going to see how it goes and see what the attraction is to the roller hockey. I think we're going to stay with cement. The second year we might do a sport court, you know, right. something to put right. down kind of. But uh, right now we're going to do things kind of easy to get things up and running to make sure everything's in place and that uh, the more people can enjoy it. Because those roller hockey guys, they might have, need different wheels yeah, for, right, for the right. cement, and, you know, to be able to do their hockey stops. And there are guys that can do hockey stops sure. with, with those, uh, you know, inline blades. I knew guys in the in the I played, and they had actually the four wheels, and yeah. they would they would do hockey stops. I right. was like, I don't know how they did it. I just like the toe thing was my thing, but they would do hockey stops. Part of that has to do with the wheels, yeah. you know. So, Definitely. but yeah, there, I mean, there's a whole community out there of roller hockey players that maybe haven't done the ice that you're going to be able to draw into the KCI Center. Yeah, that's what we were hoping for. We were hoping for that they could kind of cross-train or they could kind of cross over, and if they did roller hockey and never tried ice hockey, they could do that. And then if they play ice hockey and never tried roller hockey, that could be a new avenue for them.
them as well. Uh, both great sports. I always liked, uh, I played some roller hockey out here way back. They just, when they they put an asphalt surface out, and I played some roller hockey, and it was fine. But I liked ice, ice hockey better because when you fall down, you slide versus bounce. Right. <laughs> now, if you're wearing the right equipment, it doesn't really matter if you're bouncing. But I guess I wasn't wearing the right equipment one day, and I bounced a little bit. Yeah, so not, not fun. So the, so the ice is nice. You slide yes. when you fall down. So you try not to fall down. But So you're going to open that up. You're going to have hockey there. It's going to bring more ice to the kids that play hockey uh, here in Kansas City. But you're also going to have your figure skating and learning to play learn yeah. to skate and yeah. all that and that's what's going on right now we just we just changed shifts here at the rink you just had a game end, a bantam game end and now there's a whole bunch of kids that are out on the ice that are learn to skate yep, right yep now. they're doing yeah. learn to skate right now so it's uh the kids who are learning how to skate you know for recreation or if they want to be figure skaters or get into hockey you know they might start in this area uh, so that's on the ice right now, and then we'll have that also as a class outside, and the little kids will get to experience that. And we'll have a lot of public skates outside. Um, we still have our Learn to Play Hockey program that goes every Saturday morning, so we still have that going, and those kids will get a chance to, to have a couple classes outside. So we just want to bring that whole experience to anybody who's interested. Right. Uh, now let's talk about that Learn to Play Hockey program. You, you came here about a year plus ago, yeah. and you kind of started that yeah. here at the rink, yep. and it's really picked up, and it's you've had some great graduates that are now now that it's the fall and the ho- the kids youth hockey season has begun have moved on I, you know you've had some success yeah that. it's been great you know back last february or march we started a program because i felt there was a need for a hockey program uh here at the rink and in the area and it's called learn to play hockey and you, you can come in with no experience necessary we have the skates the sticks all you need is a helmet with a face mask and like i said uh, a ride to the rink you know that, that's really all you need as a kid uh, the reason I thought we needed it was there was a lot of kids in the Learn to Skate program, which is awesome for kids. Uh, but a lot of the kids just wanted to get out and bang the puck around. They wanted that hockey atmosphere. Yeah. They wanted other kids that wanted to play hockey. So we started a program on Saturday mornings and uh, bright and early around 8 o'clock. And uh, the kids come in, and we have about, um, man, I think there's 30 to 40 kids in the class right now, which is awesome. That's great. About 10 of them have never skated before, but we're already in week three, and they, they have no walkers, and they're skating. You know, mm-hmm. with, So we have our, our staff around here is just awesome. We have qualified uh, young gentlemen and young ladies that help us with the learn to play hockey and the learn to skate. And I tell you, we've probably graduated close to... 30, 40 kids over the last year into the STARS organization. And uh, the coaches really appreciate it that take them because they're already kind of seasoned. They're already ready to go. So Right. Yeah, and that's good. They've got the discipline. They know what some of the drills are. Yeah. They don't have to, I mean, they still have to teach them and, and improve them and things like that. But they've got their attention. They, they know these kids love hockey, and they know that they're going to pay attention to the right, coaches, right. and that's great. Yep. Yeah, as an ex-coach, that is a valuable thing, you know, to keep the kids in line while they're waiting their turn and all that kind of stuff. So they've had that practice practice for that uh let's talk about the learn to play hockey program and the different levels you've actually got sure. three, three different levels that the kids step through in yeah. order to get to that level where they can say yeah we're ready to join the spring league or the fall league or whatever right right we have three different levels the first one's called the rookies we call them and that that you can come in with no skating experience those are the fun ones you know that uh uh, it's just need to start, need to get out there on the ice, and they might take a little bit of a time. And then the second level we have is called the um, little stars, we call them. And the little stars are uh, uh, the next level up where they got their sticks. They're learning how to hold their sticks. They're learning how to skate with a stick. Mm-hmm. They might learn how to hockey stop. They might learn how to a little backwards skating. And then we have the um, all-stars, which is the top group. And what they do is they have more... Um, game situations they have little small scrimmages right and i really call it uh you know are you ready to score some goals i usually ask the kids because <laughs> that's all the kids really know about uh hockey is that there's a puck they got a stick and they want to hit it and they want to put it and in there's the a goal yeah yep. there's there's a goal there uh, and, and somebody to beat a, a kid that says <laughs> i want to be the goalie and 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 jumps in there and and tries to stop it so all of a sudden there's a challenge in yeah it. i had last mm-hmm. week it's funny because i had a kid at the end of the practice i said you know how many goals did you guys have? And one kid raised his hand. He said, I had 15 goals. Oh, my gosh. And there was no goalie in there. We were just (laughs) just screwing around. But every time he put it in the net, he was counting, you know, one, (laughs) two, three. So it's really awesome. I I really like uh, the younger kids, I think, is that's where it's at. Oh, yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. They're so enthusiastic, and they enjoy it so much, and, and they improve so quickly, yeah. really. They really do. I mean, they, it's amazing how, how quick. And, they, and they'll spend the time with the sticks at home and the pucks and enjoy themselves doing that, and it, and it translates now. Right. It translates to the ice. Now, one of the other things that you guys offer is not only do you sign up for Learn to Play Hockey or Learn to Skate, but you also get some passes yeah. to come out and improve on your skating as yeah. well during public session. That's really important. Yeah, you know what? We thought that if we gave each kid, like, six free 
public skating passes with the registration of any one of our programs that they could use that then they could come out on their own with their parents or with their friends and that's really how you learn how to skate i mean you get that 45 minutes or an hour on the ice once a week but to really really advance your skills and advance your skating you need to come out to those public skates or those stick and pucks or you know just to get out on your own and that's what that outdoor rink's going to add is because like today we have no public skate because we have a large hockey tournament right and we'll be able to never not have a public skate during the winter because you know we can still have the hockey tournament but then outside at the same time we can have a a public skate going on so uh you know i wish i could explain to you or i wish i could show you uh with my emotions how excited we are to have that rink going on outside and everyone really should be the same well as i said a little earlier uh being somebody that played hockey for many years as an adult it's as an adult it's an extremely exciting yeah. thing you know there there is there is an outdoor there's a couple outdoor rinks in Kansas City one of them is set up for ice hockey but it's really set up for kids right. but but as a coach it was fun to be out there with the kids if we said okay and we're going to scrimmage for the last 10 sure. minutes just because we were outside and we were just horsing around this is the full size and you know it's like the winter classic that is on, I think, NBC or something like yeah. that every year. That, yeah. that That is a very special thing that a lot of people tune in to see. And this kind of brings that to Kansas City. And for we in hockey enthusiasts, it's just a neat thing. Yeah, it's, it's a neat thing. If you didn't grow up playing on the ponds, which I didn't, you know. Right. We were looking you at, did, but we, I didn't. <laughs> we were looking at doing maybe a day like that, maybe an outdoor, all outdoor. All, Introduce our guest. This is Pino. Uh, my pup comes in. So we're looking at doing an all outdoor day, maybe like a hockey day in Kansas awesome. City. Awesome. Awesome. And I'll tell you what. One quick thing. The funny thing is, is we have a hard time attracting St. Louis teams down here, you know, Mm -hmm. to Kansas City or over Mm -hmm. here to Kansas City. So now with our double rink, they're saying if we come there, can you guarantee us a game on the outdoor rink? I mean, they're really excited about it. And all that does is bring more uh, revenue to the area and it brings more people to our city. And it really shows off, you know, what we can do and what we can uh, host uh, different events. Absolutely. The hotels and the restaurants yeah. all, all get, you know, business because everybody from St. Louis and Tulsa and, and Texas have left here. Yep. And they're going to go grab some food somewhere around the Just rink. Just like they're doing that's, today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and th- that's awesome. And, yeah, and, and I guess we were talking before this. St. Louis, when I was growing up there, they had a couple outdoor rinks because they didn't have as much indoor, right. uh, but now I guess they don't have as much outdoor, so this is a novelty right. for them to come here, and, and it br- by bringing that St. Louis competition here, it makes the teams here better, too. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. you know, it's, it, it's a win-win for everybody to, to have this, as well as just those people that enjoy having a party, want to have their kids, you know, parties out here. You can do, you'll be able to do all that other stuff, too. Right. You'll be able to have lock-ins and things like that for church groups or high schools or things like that, uh, you know, where they can participate and do some stuff out on the ice here, play broom ball if they don't want to play, you know, hockey or something like that. that yeah, it opens it up to just all absolutely. kinds of avenues. So if you're out there and you have a birthday party or you have a, you know, a group that wants to do a skating event, you can always call us down here at the rink at 913-441-3033, or you can always go on our website at kcicecenter.com. That's kcicecenter.com, and you can uh, look at all of our programs that we have. You can call the rink and ask for any one of the employees, uh, myself, Dean, or my assistant manager, Matt, or uh, Jordan, and we can uh, walk you through the programs. And you've had these guys here for a long time, yeah. so that, so they they know exactly what's going on. Yep, I mean, you exactly. know, we've had Jordan on the show yep. in the past, yeah. and it's it's you know it's great. Yeah. Now you also have obviously you've got youth hockey here. You've got learn to play hockey here. You also have adult hockey. We've only got a couple minutes here. Sure. But you know, for those adults, male and female, that you know maybe played hockey as kids there is an opportunity to come out here and just play in a recreational yeah we have 16 teams in our adult league right now we have eight in a cd league and then eight in like a b league you know we kind of section them off Mm -hmm. for their talent and uh we have 16 teams so they play sunday nights and monday nights and it's just a great way to to stay in shape not only stay in shape but get you know get back on the ice if you haven't been for a while or to continue skating for sure and then the learn to skate programs that you have uh, are there for you know, certainly boys and girls, it's going to be a little bit more girls because it's more of leading into the figure skating. There are guys that do figure skating as well, oh, but, it's, sure. but it's a little bit more the girls. Yep. What, do they, what do they step up to as, as they progress? You know, the uh, skate school instructor, uh, Kay, does a great job. Yeah. So if you have any uh, questions on the skate school, Kay would be the one to call and ask for. But they do the same thing. They start like 
in a, in a snowplow class, they call it, you know, <laughs> and they just are learning how to skate, right? Snow snowplow plow is stopping like <laughs> yep. that. It's kind of like the front of a snowplow where yep. you turn your and, feet that way. And they go all the way up to what's called jumps and spins and, yeah. and, and moves in the field, they call it, and more artistry stuff. So they start, uh, same thing, they just call it different things, and they go all the way up the ladder until they'll be able to get out to a freestyle or do a competition. Just so like the boys. So you've got it for the little kid, maybe three, two yeah. and a half, that could actually start and come here yep. all the way up to the senior adult that wants we, to play hockey. Yeah, if we had a camera, I could put it out on the, <laughs> the ice right now. We have an uh, adult class, and I think there's uh, one lady out there who's 62, Woo. and she's uh, just beginning to learn how to skate now. And You know what? If you ever thought about doing it, uh, don't hesitate. Give us a call or go onto our website and look at the programs. That's awesome. It's KCIceCenter.com, and it's 913 441 3033. Thank you, Dean, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for hosting us here Thank you very, today. Very much. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Today, we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine featuring the Siege Sports High School Report, the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the Great Life Golf Report, and the Bud Light Chiefs Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- 438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. 
you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. Welcome to the Collegiate Camo Halftime Report here on Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. The show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. Come out for a public skating session, a learn to, uh, take a learn to skate or a learn to play hockey session, or schedule a broom ball game. To find out all you can do here, visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now this segment of the collegiatecamo.com halftime report is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles and more so the next time you're planning a group outing choose yellow and choose first call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com uh, and it's also brought to you by collegiatecamo.com collegiate camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty of your favorite college sports team collegiate camo offers only the finest quality car and truck dec decals jumbo boat decals hats and headwear shirts outerwear women's items and other camouflage college logo products Collegiate Camo features products from over 40 schools. You can visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we interview Jayhawk quarterback Dane Christ, uh, Wildcat tight end Travis Tannehill, and Tiger freshman starting guard and Lee Summit high grad Evan Bame. Uh, and in She KC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team, plus we give you the warning signs of something called the female athlete triad. You can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center where we're doing our show today, Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now you also find She KC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations by visiting our website, SheKC.com. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our web pages and follow the links to our pages. And our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can view our show, this show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness. They include collegiatecamo.com, the sponsor of this segment of Good Sports, the Kansas City Renegades professional indoor football team, Tailgating and indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com and continue to follow the team in KC Sports and Fitness. <coughs> Plus PM Sleep Labs, over 60 million Americans suffer from one of more than 80 different sleep disorders and PM Sleep Labs has a staff of sleep disorder specialists who will help you diagnose those problems, will work with you and your physician to treat the con your, that condition and improve your health. Give PM Sleep Labs one night for a lifetime of better sleep. For more information or to set up a study at one of their three locations, you can call 913-721-5511 or visit pmsleeplabs.com. And hang on, because we're going to talk with Craig Myers, Craig Meyer from PM Sleep Labs in our next segment. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, uh, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Polofsky & Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delights Yoga, Heritage College, 
uh, the Fieldhouse, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Well, that's our Collegiate Camo Halftime Report. We're going to take another quick break, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine Show. Today, we're coming to you from the Kansas City Eye Center, located two miles west, 435 off of Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Fieldhouse builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOO or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College, trained to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details, like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. MISL Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center starting November 2nd. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets at their home opener. For more information on tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Welcome back 
two good sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now, today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. You can come on out for a public skating session. You can uh, join up for a learn to skate or a learn to play hockey session or schedule a broom ball game. To find out all you can do here, visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation uh, credit when you help and help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Watch for upcoming recycling events. Uh, one is coming up on October 20th at the Family Farm Center in Harrisonville and October 29th at the Bridgepoint Community Center in North KC. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention that some of the, some of the experts who each join us uh, as a part of our show during the month, they are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solution, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness or SheKC. To read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all across the KC metro area. And you can find SheKC at over 500 locations. Now this month, SheKC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after exercise. We also write about rowing for fitness, for exercise, and for college scholarships. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report, which is presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness, and we give you advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report, presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback, Stephen McBee, and tight end, Devontae Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on October 20th, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. Our taping usually starts at about 1230, and we'll see you there that day. On October 27th, we will be at Oliver's Pizzeria, located at 135th Street uh, in the Pla uh, Parkway Plaza between Nall and Rowe, and our taping will start about 1230 as well that day. In November, we will be at the Field House of Kansas City, located at 135th and Quivira. And on November 17th, we will be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center for their grand opening of the Outdoor Ice Pavilion. And the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Our taping will start at about 1230 that day also. So come on out and join us uh, for those events. You might see yourself on TV. Now, I also want to mention that the Missouri Comet season is starting up next month, and we've got tickets we're giving away for one of their upcoming games. In fact, we actually have five pair of tickets, and all you have to do to enter is email us your information. Email that to freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. Again, freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. We also have an entry form in the October issue of KC Sports and Fitness, so hurry up and enter today. Uh, now, we are joined here at the Kansas City Ice Center by Craig Meyer. He is the president of PM Sleep Labs, which is a company that specializes in the evaluation and treatment of sleep disorders. Thank you for joining us today, Craig. We appreciate you coming out. Thanks, Steve. Uh, welcome to the show. Now, you wrote an article in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness about sleep and athletic performance, and uh, that's obviously in our October issue. Uh, but before we get started with this, tell, that, tell us about PM Sleep Labs. Uh, you have three locations in Kansas City and some other locations as well around the right. region. We have uh, three locations in Kansas City, but we also have about a dozen locations around the Midwest, uh, mostly in Kansas, Missouri, uh, although we do also have a location down in Texas. Uh, but yes, we diagnose and uh, also treat sleep disorders. And how long have you been operating this business? Uh, since about 2006. Oh, okay. So you've, you've been in it uh, really for six years. Wow, that's yeah. great. Um, you're obviously, you're in other cities. And how did you get started in this business? What, what made you, uh, is it a franchise or how does, how, do, what, how does it work? Did sure. you just kind of say, okay, you know, I've got experience in this thing. I'm going oh, like to bring these sleep. individuals together. Well, yeah. Uh, my, my, I mean, I don't know if you remember it, but in the Little Abner cartoon that was out, Little Abner, who nobody knows who Little Abner was, he was a mattress tester. That was his job during the day. He was a mattress tester. So that was the ideal. And growing up and reading that cartoon strip, that was like, oh, that's an ideal job there. 
So <laughs> I'm not familiar with Little Abner. <laughs> well, you'll have to that look it up like on, that Goog- on that Google thing. I'm showing my age here. <laughs> um, so, you know, how did you get started? Well, my background uh, in medical, uh, I really became a businessman in medical with uh, diagnostic imaging like MRI, CT, things of that nature. And uh, just through doing research of other uh, medical uh, fields, I noticed that sleep disorders were really a underdiagnosed area. And, you know, so many of the sleep labs were located in hospitals, which really Mm -hmm. isn't the uh, best environment to have somebody go to sleep and not be woke up in the middle of the night by some PA system going off. Mm -hmm. Um, So we decided, you know, a a nice outpatient environment uh, would be perfect for sleep. Um, And that's really how I got started. Wow, really? uh, One location to start, and one became two, and two became four. And, you know, it's just been uh, really demand from patients, demand from physicians, uh, you know, saying that, hey, we're doing a great job here, and, uh, you know, we'd like to have you do it for us in another location as well. And in a sense, you kind of operate 24 hours a day almost, don't you? Uh, We really do. Um, (coughs) Obviously, most people sleep at night, but uh, we also do perform daytime studies Mm -hmm. uh, called MSLTs. Um, A lot of those are related to uh, transportation industry, truck drivers, uh, airline pilots, things like that. Uh, So we do really operate 24 hours a day because uh, although we may sleep patients at night, uh, the patients that do require a CPAP, a continual positive airway pressure device, those patients are typically set up during the day uh, and, in many cases, in the lab setting really? as well. Yeah. Now, statistically, I read some stats on your website. Um, uh, 60 million Americans suffer from some kind of sleep disorder. That is just an amazing statistic. That's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. And, you know, the the sad thing is the majority of those are undiagnosed. Right. Uh, They're saying that although there's uh, an estimated 60 million people that suffer from a sleep disorder, right now only about 12 to 15 million of those people have been diagnosed. Now, sleep disorders in general is a a very broad term. Sure. Uh, The medical societies recognize 84 different sleep, um, I guess, diagnoses. Far and away, the largest percentage of that, probably 80% of people who have a sleep disorder, fall under the category of obstructive sleep apnea or OSA. Really? It's that? Wow. It, it is that, wow. uh, that, I guess, geared towards uh, OSA. I mean, some of the other more common ones might be just as simple as sleepwalking or right. um, uh, restless leg syndrome right. gets uh, quite a bit of uh, you know, recognition as well. But far and away, obstructive sleep apnea is the, uh, the largest one. And it, One of the, I guess, biases that we uh, try to educate people on is a lot of people feel that uh, sleep apnea might be tied closely to obesity. In many cases, it is. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be overweight in order to have obstructive sleep apnea. I've got a friend who's six foot six, uh, probably doesn't have 10% body fat on him, Mm -hmm. but he has sleep apnea. Wow. Um, A woman, 5'5", 110 pounds, has sleep apnea. Hmm. Um, You know, they're far from obese, but... They uh, nonetheless have sleep apnea. But certainly uh, the heavier you are, the higher the risk factors are to have it, just because one of the risk factors is a a large neck. Right, right. Yeah, And, and, you know, we're going to talk about athletes in just a minute. Uh, and, you know, obviously the linemen, you know, they all kind of kind of sort of fit that category. And that's important for their game that they have a large and muscular neck to, you know, because they're getting Absolutely. punched in the face all the time. But um, some of the, you know, I mean, let's talk about the importance of sleep. What's going on in our body when we're when we're laying down? I mean, we all get tired and all that. And we know we have to refresh ourselves. But what's really sure. going on inside of our body when we when sure. we sleep? There are really uh, medical Science shows that there are four different stages of sleep. Uh, There's stage one when you first lay down, stage two when your body starts relaxing and uh, your respiratory cycle goes into a more uh, regular pattern, Uh, stage three, uh, which is just before uh, stage four, which is commonly referred to as REM, rapid Mm -hmm. eye movement sleep. Mm -hmm. And the REM is the restorative sleep that you get or that you hope to get when you're sleeping. you know, and many people may only uh, get two to three hours of REM sleep a night, but that's enough. They may, is it? They may sleep for eight hours. Is it? Yeah. But their body really only reaches REM for, uh, some people it may be 20 minutes, some people it might be five hours, but on average, right. it might be a two to three hour REM. Now, isn't that, that's dream sleep? 
That's dream sleep. I find it interesting that the dream sleep, the thing where, where you wake up and you go, oh, my gosh, you know, I remember this, and it was in color, and this, and it, that's, the, that's the sleep that, that you get the, the most rest. Is like that is the restorative you, sleep. Where your brain is doing the most work. Exactly. <laughs> and, and science shows that uh, the REM sleep is what helps your body uh, recover the most and what helps uh, your brain absorb memory and absorb facts. Uh, so really, it's the sleep that you need. I, I've heard somebody compare it before to uh, your cell phone. You use your cell phone all day long. At the end of the day, the battery's worn down. Right. If you don't plug that in, the next day, cell phone's not going to be much use. It's the same way with sleep or REM sleep specifically. If you're not getting enough sleep and specifically getting down into the REM sleep cycle, uh, your body's just not going to function and your brain's not going to function the way that it should or at, at its peak Right. the next day. Well, let, uh, I want to give out your phone number. It's 913-721-5511. Uh, your website is PM Sleep Labs, and that's got an S on the end, so it's plural, right? PM Sleep Labs dot com. I think I have both. Uh, oh, okay. Sleep so, lab and so it'll, so it'll, it'll, it'll jump you over there. So, so you're, you're good. Yes. We're talking with Craig Meyer. He's the president of PM Sleep Labs. Um, let's talk about your article that you, you had in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Um, you know, in your article, you focus on the connection between sleep and athletic performance, and that's really important. Uh, first off, how does sleep affect an athletic performance? What kind of stats and things have people seen? Sure. Um, Stanford um, University and Stanford Medical Center are really one of the uh, forefront uh, facilities and, and uh, universities that are studying sleep disorders mm -hmm. and athletic performance. They've had a number of studies released over the last few years that they've tested uh, their tennis teams, their swimming teams, basketball teams, football teams. So we've got a lot of data from them. And what they show is that athletes that get a minimum of eight hours and preferably up to 10 hours for these athletes, um, their three-point shooting uh, and free throw shooting percentages increase. Uh, the reaction time on swimmers is, I believe, 17% better. Wow. So getting off That's of a huge. starting block wow. or even for a sprinter. Um, uh, tennis players uh, have about a 30% higher accuracy level hitting uh, tennis shots. Uh, golf team, uh, take three strokes off your golf game. Oh, my gosh. Getting the proper amount of sleep. I mean, oh my across gosh. every athletic endeavor you can imagine, uh, your performance will increase if you get the proper sleep. And as you mentioned a little earlier, sleep apnea is, is often one of those things that a, a lot of athletes or individuals uh, will deal with. What's going on inside of us? W like sa same question, you know, what's going on in our bodies uh, sure. that causes the sleep apnea? You mentioned the bigger, bigger neck, but what's going on? Uh, obstructive sleep apnea really is the airway collapsing on itself while you're sleeping. So um, imagine, you know, just a, a tube uh, unobstructed you're able to get a good flow of pressure through that tube. But if you put a kink in the tube, um, the flow is, uh, now has resistance. Mm -hmm. It's the same way with your airway uh, into your lungs when you're sleeping. And if you uh, have a large neck, chances are it's going to collapse on itself uh, mm. while you're sleeping. And a lot of that uh, might be represented uh, physically with snoring. Uh, right. So if you have a spouse that says, hey, you know, you snore uh, while you sleep, well, there's a good chance you might have some level of sleep apnea. Or uh, you might, they say, you stop breathing in the middle of the night. Um, and this is what a lot of people don't realize because they're sleeping. They may not be reaching REM sleep right. because their body keeps waking them up before they reach the REM sleep. They, and they may not fully wake up. They may just bounce back and forth between stage one and stage two or stage two and stage three sleep. Sure. They never reach REM sleep, which is the really restorative sleep. Right. Now, the sleep apnea, who's affected more? You mentioned, uh, you know, 55-year-old woman who's five foot, or five foot five woman, uh, but it, it's a little more men than women. Is that correct? Uh, certainly, uh, I would say probably 70, 65, 70 percent of our men. patient mix is men. Mm -hmm. um, but women can and do have it as well. For sure. So it, it affects the athlete. It affects us as in individuals and things like that. What's the... Um, but you, you guys run into, you know, obstacles in diagnosing and treating patients with sleep apnea. What are some of those obstacles that you run into um, with I think the patients? One of the, one of the very first obstacles we, uh, we have is the patient just admitting that they have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, they're sleeping. They may not realize that they have a problem. You ask somebody if they snore and they will tell you no. Um, 
But if their spouse is in the room, they'll say, absolutely, he snores like a freight train, <laughs> or he stops breathing, uh, you know, he wakes up choking. Uh, you know, the, the spouse is the one that can uh, really give you the insight into it. Right. So admitting that you've got a problem and then seeking that out, uh, going to see your family practice physician, uh, seeing a specialist like a pulmonologist. Mm -hmm. um, some people say, you know, I wake up with these um, really, really bad headaches. Well, that is also a sign of sleep apnea just because your body is not oxygenating the blood the way it should, mm -hmm. and um, your blood gets, for lack of a better word, let's call it sludgy, right. harder to pump through the system. Right. Um, you know, there can be some constriction of blood vessels. Uh, that pretty much by definition yeah. is yeah. what brings a headache. Out. Right. So if you recognize that you've got some of these symptoms, you know, if you're just tired during the day, and let's face it, as people get older, they may feel that, hey, I just get tired during the day, and that's just part of old is. age, yeah. But that's not, not the way that it yeah. has to be. Yeah. You can have tremendous amounts of energy if you get the proper amount of sleep. Mm -hmm. And one of the complicating factors here is as you age, uh, your body produces less melatonin naturally. Mm -hmm. And melatonin is one of the natural uh, herbs that help you um, hmm. sleep through the night better. And light inhibits the production of melatonin. So if you uh -huh. watch TV in bed, that's a light source. Um, your body's not producing that melatonin. Right. A lot of people go the herbal route and start taking um, over-the-counter melatonin. Sure. Some people uh, like valerian root. Uh, one of the things that PM Sleep Lab has done is uh, I worked with a PhD in pharmacology to develop a herbal sleeping pill called Somnibliss uh, that has seven herbal ingredients, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. something you can take. It's over-the-counter, somnibliss.com. Uh, we also sell it at our sleep labs, hmm. but it's, um, you know, a natural way to do it because, you know, people who take uh, Ambien or Lunesta or Rosarim, some of these uh, prescription sleep aids, really you're not supposed to take them for longer than two weeks at a time. Ah. Um, and we know, have to sleep every night. Year, yeah. But, yeah. 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 So this is a longer term solution. So uh, we've only got a couple of minutes here. Um, this is a fascinating subject and we need to have you back to talk more about this. Um, what does a sleep study entail? What's the, what's the, what are the steps that you go through with an individual when they come into one of your places? Um, you know, somebody might show up around eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. um, we let them relax a little bit to get familiar with the environment. Uh, right. But really there's um, uh, leads, wires that are placed on your chest and, uh, and scalp so that we can monitor your uh, brain activity, your respiratory rate, uh, cardiovascular function, oxygenation. Um, you know, we monitor a dozen different uh, right. parts of the body that are going on. Right. And we can tell if your body is reaching the REM sleep state or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the diagnosis part. And you just sleep through the night. Uh, now, if you are diagnosed with a sleep disorder, uh, there are uh, therapies such as CPAP, the Continual Positive Airway Pressure Device. Uh, there's also oral appliances. Uh, hmm. And insurance pays for all of this. Really? Um, so it's not something that, uh, other than a deductible, you might have to pay for out of pocket. Uh, but if you don't have insurance, we do also have cash pay prices and mm -hmm. uh, payment plans that will allow you to pay it off over six months. So we really do work with the patient to try and make them, you know, the best they can be right and your your slogan is give us one night and we'll and what what is the slogan i don't have it in front of me but you know it's, it's a cool slogan sure oh here one, we go give us one night for a lifetime of better yeah, sleep one and, night for a lifetime of better yeah, sleep and that and that's awesome if you can get that fixed if you can get that problem fixed all of a sudden your life can change oh absolutely i mean we improve relationships marriages sure <laughs> that, <in> that, itself. <laughs> yeah, that in itself yeah and, so, and give you energy and that uh, make all the difference in the world well craig thank you so much you for, for joining so us much. i want to give your phone number again it's 913-721-5511 pmsleeplabs.com thank you for joining us it's it's a very interesting subject and important for athletes as well as just us regular folks out there to take care of that that will do it for our show today my thanks to our host for the show, the Kansas City Ice Center and their general manager, Dean Nelson, plus Craig Meyer from PM Sleep Labs. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine. You will find them all over Kansas City, and they're free. So pick them up today.
days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at KansasCityChiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club, meatball grinder, or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And Oliver's Pizzeria offers a full range of pizzas with a variety of toppings, sauces, and crust styles. Visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street between Knoll and Row, or go online to oliverspizzeria.com or call 913-851-5111. Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. MISL Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center starting November 2nd. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets at their home opener. For more information on tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. My snoring was keeping my wife awake at night. She told me that I stopped breathing many times during the night. When that alarm would go off in the morning, I couldn't get out of bed. Even sleeping for nine or 10 hours would leave me feeling tired the next day. That's because I wasn't sleeping. I had sleep apnea. My doctor sent me for a sleep study at PM Sleep Lab. I feel like a new man now that I sleep through the night. Learn more at pmsleeplab.com with three Kansas City locations. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like SheKC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the SheKC community. Are you? 
For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit KCRenegades.com. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details, like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. 